So let's check out the Oxford Limiter, which is a remarkably powerful plugin, which really puts you in control of the dynamics of your mix. It can be clean and gentle, or aggressive and in your face. It has three sections, and as well as your input and output, you have this pre-processed section which enables the limiter to look ahead and analyse the signal before it reaches the output stage. This function enables the Oxford limiter to keep the detail in the stereo field and the bottom end of the signal intact, where in some other limiters you'll find the stereo field narrowing and the details gone. You have attack, control, release, even a variable soft knee. There's auto gain. It's probably worth leaving in most of the time, as it helps with material with a very wide dynamic range, smoothing the levels out so that the difference between very loud peaks and very quiet sections isn't so great. Safe mode is basically it's a foolproof mode if you like. It means you cannot clip the output. It doesn't matter how much input gain you have or where your controls are set to, um, you know, even some quite radical settings, you still will not clip the output. So it's probably worth leaving in for most situations. So let's have a look at the output section. Now here you've got a unique enhance function which enhances the perceived loudness and presence and adds harmonic content. It also preserves delicate transient details under heavy limiting. Now the output level is essential for delivering mixes at certain broadcast levels. You can still be in control of how much energy your mix has by how hard you drive the input stage. But then you can still deliver at a specified level by setting the output level to whatever's been requested. Notice how the output meter, rather than stop at zero, it goes up to 6 dBs. This is so it can display actual peak reconstruction levels when the recon meter is in. As well as displaying these intersample peaks, it will actually repair them with the auto comp button. And finally, there's a comprehensive dither section with five different dither types with variable depth. So let's have a listen to it. We're going to take this one out just for dramatic effect. So the thing to watch here is the meters. Now look at the average level of the meters. There's a fair amount of dynamic range there. Now watch as I squash this dynamic range. Increasing input gain. Average level is increasing. A little apparent loudness. 12 dBs of extra gain here. 15. The heck, I'll go all the way. 18 dB of input gain. And look at these meters bouncing against the zero there. I'll switch that down. There's your dynamic range back. Look at the average level. 18 dBs of input gain. And no audible distortion. Now as well as all the uh, controls you have here, we have some fantastic presets as well. Some very sensible presets, like clean, gentle, safe. And some not so sensible presets hot and pumpy, which is what created the effect, very fast release. That's because the auto gain button's not switched in. Depends on your style and what, what you're trying to achieve. You've also got things like slammer, jazz, um, we've got some classical recording presets, bass distortion, avoid reconstruction errors. So really quite a lot of presets on the Oxford Limiter, which is a professional limiter with a comprehensive set of controls. So the Oxford limiter features an enhanced section to increase perceived loudness, a reconstruction meter which shows actual signal rather than sampled signal, it has attack, release and variable soft knee controls, a comprehensive dither and noise shaping section and comes complete with many factory presets.